complete these series of readings for all of the signs. And now we're going to work with my dear Gemini and see what spirit, spirit guidance is available for me. Guys, guardians, and spirit, please offer Gemini collective what they need to hear to for their ascension and for their ascension. Please show them everything that they need to see today and allow them to receive the messages clear to see and understand them. Allow me to be the mouthpiece with clear discernment and understanding. of Willendorf comes up. So even though her card is the caretaker, what this is actually asking you for is mothering. Uh, this goddess has large bosom and large hips because she is the mother of all. And Gemini, what you have ex been experiencing over this past year, oof, that energy is hitting me pretty hard is you have mothered quite a few people but you have deeply neglected your own mothering and it has caused you to be a terror in your life and the lives of others so what the goddess of willendorf asks for is for you to turn that mothering inside to the child within and give the child within some, some opportunities to be mothered without without scolding, without scorn, without bitterness, without pain, without the constant barrage of, of hateful things that sometimes I know you, Gemini, say to yourself. Uh, and some of the scornful ways in which you, Gemini, treat yourself. Excuse me, I've gotten really emotional about that. Please tell me what my Gemini needs. Moving into the ground. <laughs> the first card I laughed because the first card out is Vision Quest. The second card out is Radiant. The third card out is Blessings. But the blessings I, I laugh about because I know the kind of year that you Gemini have had. And it is like, holy hell, can I have a blessing or two? Because it's been a really hard year for many of you. Um, and if it hasn't been a really hard year this year, then I know 2019 has, has been pretty tough for you, Gemini. So I joke about the blessings because I can feel the collect collective sigh of like, can I get a couple? Because this is bullshit. <laughs> The vision quest I feel that you all have already embarked on, but there is still more to come. Because you are such um, prolific doers and you tend to have a lot of energy and that energy is just expounded everywhere. You're like, the I want my hand in everything. I'm doing everything. I'm touching everything. The vision quest asks you to remove yourself from social engagement, even looking at your phone, being on social media, it asks you to deeply commune, especially in the warmth. So if you're not in warmer weather, finding a warm space, whether it be a sauna or steam room or even a hot bath, I know that's not necessarily your style, but um, the hot, the heat is what you need. Something in the heat will trigger something for you. Um, 
and you need this vision quest moving forward because it will give you a clear understanding of how you terrorize yourself, A, what your role moving forward is, B, and how to heal yourself and your guide, your own spirit guide, if you have not connected with it or have not communed with it in a long time because it feels as though you haven't. This is like a return to that. It's an asking to enter the spirit realm because you all are so deeply caught in the world of logic that it's like we beckon you to come forward, Gemini. I get the summer solstice and this is actually where you in the time that you'll receive your blessings and receive your radiance. You are still even through this um, uh, this grand conjunction you are still going to be in the dark night of the soul until the weather is warm. And that's when you will receive your blessings. And this is actually talking about following the rainbow. Like the, gu the guidance is being given of, no, it's not just follow the sun, it's follow the rainbow. So when you're finding yourself a little lost moving forward in 2020, look for the rainbows because they're, they're guiding you most definitely to your highest good. Um, they're also asking or talking about seeking out the heat or seeking out the fire. And this, this 2019 and 2020, that's, this is spirit's way of kind of being like, yeah, you were bathed in fire this past year, year and a half, you were bathed in fire. Um, and so when you are bathed in fire like that, you come clean and you're down to your bare and what you get in this grand conjunction is who you want to be next. You are laid bare right now, Gemini. Here you are. You've been shaken down to your foundation. Who do you want to be next? This is the choice that you get to make. Not that you have to make, that you get to make. And so that we have this goddess of Willendorf here, you need to be connecting very deeply with your inner child because though that person has had the truth all along and you've lost it um, throughout your adult years, you know, becoming a sort of beacon or caretaker to many around you, you've lost what that inner child wanted, needed, and wants to be or become. Let's ask from the Sufi deck. <laughs> Spirit is playing with y'all today because with blessings there is ending a trauma, right? With the vision quest, it's time to play. But it's not a joke when it's time to play. That's not what they're, you know, they're not asking for you to work, 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 work. What they're saying is, where do you find your joy? Where do you find your happiness? Where do you find your uh, sense of fulfillment? And that's not necessarily in spaces of work. The vision quest also is asking for you, it's not, we often think of it as this arduous task, but for you, Gemini, it is a welcome task because you have been through such an arduous trauma. So it's kind of like, even this arduous task looks like a break to you all. Now, you are also being asked to go beyond the ego and to surrender to the flow of life. And that is a hard thing for you, Gemini, because you 
are very powerful manifestors and you make things happen. You push, you go, you move, you maneuver, and somehow, some way, everything that you want happens. Um, this card asks you to question, is this my ego or is this manifestation for the highest good? And for the highest good of like my collective, it is asking you to look at yourself first, to nurture yourself first, to be loving to yourself first. And this, is this for your highest loving energy? Not that protective, because sometimes, listen, I got a lot of Geminis in my life. But sometimes you Gemini can be some of the harshest, most spiteful people. And the words that come out of your mouth are pretty mean. But a lot of that comes from this pain that you carry that you don't want to talk about. And so you lash out at the people who will take it because they'll take it. Right? But that's your ego looking to protect you. It's time to be vulnerable now. It's time to go beyond that ego and vulnerability is your strength. And it's the way that you get the love and acceptance that your child, your inner child is looking for. Following the rainbow will end the trauma for you. And that's kind of like a giggly joke of spirit. But what it's talking about is you're out of the storm. Stop creating the storms for yourself. And that's truly what this uh, grand conjunction is asking you to do, is to stop creating storms for yourself. Stop seeking the negative energy. Stop seeking to heal those that are not in the space of healing. Stop seeking to re-injure yourself over and over through negative re relationships and experiences. It is time to heal the trauma by healing your inner child. That is what's being asked of you in order for you to ascend collective. Let us talk to the fairies because these are my number one guides and guardians and I tend to connect with them first before I talk to angels, before I talk to goddesses and all of this. Um, my first go-to people to solve a problem, to give me information, to be who I need them to be to support, um, to give me the guidance I'm looking for, that's very people because they are earth angels and they are very, very present with us. The master maker, you are not at the top of your game, but that doesn't mean you can't be. To bribe the waters, this is asking for a connection with the emotion. And that is right on up in alignment here with radiance, the ego. And to bribe the waters, man, she's saying, like, you got to get in touch with your feelings and you got to be vulnerable. And you can't be, you know, lashing out at people and you've got to radiate what your inner child needs. Luminous doom, but he comes in reverse. So let me show you these cards. It's the Master Maker. I love this deck. It's a Brian Proud Oracle deck. To what I have the waters. And Gluminous Doom. Now, Gluminous Doom in reverse says that you may have been in a space where you're talking about to yourself because you would never say it to anybody else. Woe with me, and why am I going through this, and why is this my experience, and everything wrong and bad happens to me. You've been kind of uh, having the pity party for yourself. But Gluminous Doom in, in reverse says that you are open, ready, and willing to own your part in your past and even in your ego. You are open, ready, and willing to examine yourself. And that doesn't have to be in a negative light, but you're ready to examine your patterns. That is what you need moving forward into ascension is to start examining your patterns and start becoming more vulnerable and start communicating that vulnerability to the people around you. Because the reality is the ones that take advantage of it don't need to be with you. You guys cover up real good. But the ones that take advantage of it don't need to be with you. And the ones that will support you in your vulnerability that's your tribe moving forward that's who you rock with that's who you down for let's find out 
what stone you all need to carry. Carnelian. Carnelian is a great healer of the root chakra and it brings the root chakra into balance. It talks about heal, and the root chakra has a lot to do with our development in childhood and it talks about healing that, uh, that childhood trauma. Like now is the time for you to put that part of your experience and your existence to bed and stop letting it damage the rest of your life. Because you all have been wandering through your life right now, being in trauma about that particular energy, about that particular portion of your growth. And it's truly damaged, though the universe doesn't, uh, you can't mess up anything that's truly meant for you. But it has damaged relationships and your ways of being. And so now it's time to examine where I was in ego in order to protect that child and where I no longer need to be an ego because that child does not require protection. It needs to be nurtured and it needs to flourish. Bloodstone is here, which is another root chakra, but it is also a heart chakra. It is the healing of the heart and the root together. And you are asked, this is in alignment with your reading in such a crazy way, um, you are asked to carry these two stones to bring about the kind of energy that you need moving forward for ascension. Let's get three cards from the Angel Oracle deck. And then I'm going to ask what you can expect kind of moving into 2021 and like the next couple of weeks. eye chakra this talks about engaging your intuition which many of you are very good at y'all peak game like nobody i've ever seen fairies hello my friends you are here that's connection with the earth and earth angel this is actually you seeking out your physical earth angel that person who has backed you and really connecting more deeply with them but it is also asking for you to um, become that earth angel. You are seeking out that physical earth angel so that you can begin to emulate them and truly walk your spiritual path. You all, some of your guidance moving into 2021 as Scorpio is the mouthpiece, you are the caregivers, but you must heal your spirit first in order to provide the level of kit, which I can feel the collective Gemini being like, huh. <laughs> but it's not a terrible thing um, because uh, this is where people go when they have battled battled hard and because you have battled so hard over the past decade you have been in deep battling uh, with all elements of your life nobody better than you to walk people through it also asking for you to have more of a connection with the earth put your feet in the soil when you can carry stones on you when you can uh, get more connected with trees I know that's not your bag but who cares what you look like you came here to this channel to hear this message so please and engage your third eye engage your intuition much more because you will be given downloads and that, for you, your downloads will come in the evening when you're at rest, when everything is slow. But you guys are so intuitive and you peep people's BS from a mile away. Part of that skill, part of that is because you are going to become great healers and great caregivers. Um, so you can start to, oh, that person has a bad attitude because XYZ, I bet they've experienced this trauma. Let me go help them. The 
that is part of your work moving into 2021, part of your ascension work. If you're the kind of person who hasn't been a giver, who hasn't been a caregiver, that would be part of the reason that this is your work. And if you have been a caregiver, even more so. But you have to shift the energy first to yourself and give that sweet and gentle child energy the caring and loving that you have denied it because you are, you like, you guys with yourselves, man. You guys are like the worst perfectionists. God love you. But you just with yourselves. And that needs to shift. like some of you Gemini people are, are going to or willing to take back your energy from fire people or people who uh, have a lot of, I don't want to say sexual energy, that's not quite right, but their energy isn't quite grounded and they may have come into your life and whipped things up in your life or you may have come into theirs and, and everything was turned upside down, but it's time to become the emperor, the boss of your own life. You put your own life on hold because you have went to their aid or went to them thinking that you were going to start a new life. Or the energy is, is coming from someone who is kind of confused and chaotic and you were thinking, oh, I'm going to time hitch my horse to this car, but uh, it doesn't work out the way that you want it to. Or it didn't work out the way that you wanted to. And now you are you need to move into emperor energy, which is you taking more control of your own life. And removing yourself from this situation. It leaves, it leaves you and them kind of at a heavy hardship. Because they, they start out here as this queen. And they move into page energy. But you have to move into the energy of rescuing yourself. So a lot of what this is asking for is rescuing yourself from a person or a confusing and chaotic energy and moving into energies of stability for yourself. Because if you are still in the energy of chaos when we hit, if you haven't made a decision and you're still thinking like you're going to hitch your horse to this cart that doesn't know where they're going or what they're doing, you're going to keep uh, entertaining that energy moving forward and it's going to continue to wreak havoc in your life. But you becoming the emperor and in charge of your own life and saying like, this isn't the choice I want to make. It's literally like a bump from the universe saying, got it. You learned your lesson. Now you can, now we have unlocked the next door. Now you can move forward, but you can't move forward with this energy, this confusing, chaotic energy. It's deep choice. It's not wishy-washy. It's not back and forth. It's not confused. It is choice and determination. All right, my beautiful Gemini, I believe that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.